Hello everyone, thanks for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thanks for your continuous support and thanks for always staying tuned to our channel. We're here to keep you updated with the latest and most authentic happenings in our country. And the news we have today is regarding the African Development Bank and the Adeshina saga, the Akiwumi Adeshina. We all know what's been going on recently, how the US um, have stated that they're going to organize an independent um, investigation into Adeshina after the, uh, the the African Development Bank um, Ethnic Committee, they've actually cleared him of all of the allegations, the 16 allegations that were laid against him. And then um, also how Amade Shina went to see President Mohamed Buhari to see how he can get support. We know a lot of leaders have rallied around him, the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, even um, ex-president as well, Good Luck Jonathan, they've all rally, rallied around. Uh, uh, they've all rallied around him. And the latest was when he went to see President Mohammed Buhari, and Buhari gave him his support and his word that I will stand by you all through. Right now, the news we are getting is that um, the African Development Bank is bowing to the U.S. pressure and have finally authorized the private investigation against Adeshina. We don't know where all of this is going. You know, there's been speculations that um, the U.S. just wants this man out. We don't know what their target or what their aim is. Let's find out more details um, in a moment. But before we do, guys, um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. So, right, let's get more details um, of what the U.S. Um, is up to. African Development Bank bows to U.S. pressure authorized private investigation against Adeshina. The African Development Bank has agreed to a private probe of its president, Akiwumi Adeshina, even after an internal review found no evidence of misconduct. The African Development Bank decision comes as the outcome of a meeting by its Bureau of Board of Directors on Thursday. The agreement to privately review additional conduct comes on the heels of a call by the United States pressing for an independent probe into charges by whistleblowers. These charges, which had been declared as unfounded by an internal inquiry, include alleged embezzlement and favoritism under Adeshina's watch, a situation which puts some pressure on the bank's president, who is bidding for a second five-year term. Some African leaders have pledged to support Adeshina and have kicked against the probe, saying that the call negates the ethics of the African Development Bank. However, at the end of its meeting on Thursday, the Bureau of Board of Governors issued a communique agreeing with the U.S. and authorizing an independent review of the Ethics Committee report. The communique, signed by the chairperson of the Bureau of the Boards of Governors, Nali Kaba, reads as follows. The Bureau reiterates that it agrees that the Ethics Committee of the Board of Directors performed its role on the matter in accordance with the applicable rule under resolution B slash BG slash 2008 slash 11 of the Board of Governors. The Bureau also reiterates that the chairperson of the Bureau of the Board of Governors performed her role in accepting the findings of the Ethics Committee in accordance with the said resolution. However, based on the views of some governors on the matter, and need to carry every governor along in resolving it, the Bureau agrees to authorize an independent review of the report of the Ethics Committee of the Board of Directors relative to the allegations considered by the Ethics Committee and the submission made by the President of the Bank Group thereto in the interest of due process. The independent review shall be conducted by a neutral high-caliber individual with unquestionable experience, high international reputation and integrity within a short time period of not more than two or four weeks maximum, taking the bank group's electoral calendar into account. Bureau agrees that within a three to six months period, and following the independent review of the Ethics Committee report, an independent comprehensive review 
of the implementation of the bank's group's whistleblowing and complaints handling policy should be conducted with a view to ensuring that the policy is properly implemented and revising it where necessary to avoid situations of this nature in the future. Adeshina is yet to make any comments as regards to the latest developments. However, he has at other times denied that he partook of any corrupt practice. The African Development Bank president, in a recent press statement, described the allegations as unprecedented attempts by some to tarnish his reputation. He declared that he will continue to work with each and every one of the bank's shareholders. I maintain my innocence with regards to trumped-up allegations that unjustly seek to impugn my honor and integrity, as well as the reputation of the African Development Bank, Adeshina said. Wow, this is really getting deeper and deeper. It looks like the U.S., they are not giving up on, on Adeshina. And we know that um, before now, um, he gave a long statement. So on that statement, the 16 counts, the allegations, the 16 allegations that were raised against him, he itemized all of them and stating, giving explanation of all of them. I think one of them was that um, and there was one of the uh, um, bank officer that was away for a leave on holiday and um, it's been a long time. And it was said that um, Adeshina um, is covering up for that staff. And when Adeshina tried to clear his name on that, he stated that he is not part of the HR team. He's not the one that okays holidays and all of that. That that guy actually took a sick leave and he's on, uh, um, on, on, uh, on a sick leave trying to sort himself out medically. So he doesn't have anything to do with that. So he listed all the 16 allegations. He itemized them one after the other and tried to clear himself where they uh, um, thought um, he was wrong. You know, there's, there's one of the, the charges against him, they are saying that um, he was he's involved in favoritism and embezzlement. On the part of favoritism, that um, one of his schoolmates works with him and he said that it's quite ridiculous that he doesn't have the right to stop anyone from working where they want to work. That he was surprised as well when he found out that he, someone he knows, actually went through the test, the, 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 all the tests to get the assessment test to get the job. And he qualified, he met the, the requirements and he was hired. Not it, it doesn't have anything to do with his doing. So I really don't understand what's going on with this additional thing. And uh, we know there's been allegation that um, while he was president, he was always um, he always had the interest of African and the African nations and trying to see how we can move Africa forward. And that is why he's wanting to come back on his second term. He's done um, his first term. But um, they are saying no. That's why they are bringing up this probe at this crucial time when um, his first term is running out and is due to go for the second term for another five years. And then we all know leaders, all the leaders all over, they have his support and they've really spoken well about him. This addition, I don't think we've heard anything negative about him. They've all spoken well about him as someone that has integrity and all of that. But the U.S., we'll, we'll see what they're going to find out. So right now, the news we've got that the summary of this is that... Um, the um, African Development Bank, they've given up because they were trying to insist that there should not be any further proof. But right now, they've given up to the U.S. And the U.S., um, they are going to carry out that um, investigation, a private investigation. But anyways, the U.S., they've stated that um, they are going to ensure that um, the independent body carrying out um, this investigation is someone that is very professional, someone that has integrity, and someone that has um, good experience, unquestionable and high international reputation and all of that and they are going to run this within a short period of time i just hope this all goes well because uh I don't, let it not be a case that because he's african and people have been asking in the first place what does the u.s have to do with an african development bank i know that's the question you're asking right away but the thing is the u.s they've got a larger share in that um, institution that is the reason they have um, the, the 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 gods and they have the um ability to do everything they want to do right now they've got the largest share in the bank here yeah, that is what the case is so guys leave your take leave your comments down below in the comment section we'd really love to hear from you, you want to say thank you once again to all of our valued subscribers 
we really do appreciate you and please guys if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for click on the subscribe button down below don't forget to give us a thumbs up as well and also hit on the um, notification bell it enables you to get updates of all of our latest news as they come up i want to say thank you once again till i come your way again is bye for now and god bless